all right so what is going on today youtube we are going in with brian johnson's zombies that he sent in earlier today so i said you know what let's get to it and my god what is with uh, see man this is why i don't like spirit master it's because it literally it like floats to my hand no matter when i play it spirit master just floats to my hand when i don't have another shiri new and it, and it hurts so bad but we did open up swallow slash so we are good we're decent we also have a hand trap so we can stop these good plays um but it looks like we're not stopping any good play oh no there's crawlers okay well that's fine this is actually very good against crawlers um i don't think we want to go so over this i don't want to because he's gonna set so once he starts like if he special summons to set i believe that's what it does right i haven't played it a lot so yeah you can special summon a face down one so i'm pretty sure he's gonna set one and then try to special summon one and end his turn then we can swallow slash these two face down and then pop this with the spirit master of the deck and we can possibly draw gozuki or something and just do damage but let's see what chris has in mind um I, well shit well, i will at least hope that he does do that because we need to, um we need to go through the deck um uh, to get we need to thin out our deck to get rid of the spirit master that always seems to float to my hand man i really do i really dislike swimming like i like the effect of pop and the effect of special summon but man it always in my hand like if i play one this is exactly why i didn't play for san diego is because literally oh no why would you normal summon what, what's the point of that um from your deck see that what am i supposed to do i can't beat that I can't because he why are you normal summoning this like there's no reason for him to like and he, he he sets this one like why this there's no reason to summon this there's literally no reason to summon this card oh god man I, I just I just this is what I deal with on a daily basis folks like there's no reason for him to do that there's no card I mean there's no deck that literally there's nothing besides you know what I'm doing that can literally uh, pop his stuff. Like, that was a bad play. Like, why? Once again, folks, don't set before you attack. There's no reason to. It's, there's no reason. You're just opening yourselves up to random cards, such as Swallow Slash, that gets rid of your cards. Well, you know, I, I ooh, well, all right. So he's down to 11. So there's a mistake. And now we got to summon this uh, Spirit Master and uh, attack over this. Um, I don't know if any of them search though. Do they? See now, if I set this mistake in attack, I'm opening myself up to an evenly match for no reason. Now it looks like he has some type of effect negation or something that either you're not gonna look. Well, come on, Chris, you ain't gotta quit, my guy. That's not my fault you did that. Um, that's 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 like one of the first rules of Yu-Gi-Oh that you should learn is never set before you attack. Because, um, well, a lot of people don't realize why, you know, a lot of people say that is because back in the day, there were cards like Ryko or, you know, this random like MSTs and stuff. So like not MS, not random, really MSTs, but like twin twisters and um, just basically stuff that reacts to when you have cards on the field or, uh, you know, like, right, like, like I said, Ryko. Ryko is a flip effect monster that mills three and destroys a card on the field. So what would happen if you set you attack into it and i'll flip pop it mill three cards and you just lost a free trap for no apparent reason and you could have just attacked with your monster lost that and then set your trap i don't know what that was but i really hope that that didn't stop anything hold on let me see okay it didn't stop anything and we're literally at four minutes for no reason there's no reason why we had four minutes chris wanted to take his time but yeah you always never set before you attack is because of you know if you go look at the history you go there's a bunch of cards that can just act like you can set a card and then activate mst or you know twin twister and i can chain my twin twister and pop your back row and what did you lose it for absolutely no reason um so that's that let's see oh we drew a strike you know what i think he may have the one that searches so we're going to just activate this mistake was nope well we're going to activate this mistake. If he has it, he has it. Actually, we should have just like Book of Life. But I have a feeling that is a maxi or something because keep, they keep prompting him to do something. Let's see if our let's see if our preemptive mistake worked out. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> and we took, and we took, uh, what's the name, 600. 
Okay, well that didn't work. Um, let's set the strike. Man, <clears throat> please, can we draw a Gozuki or something? Can we draw a Solitaire? That would be amazing. Solitaire would just be the icing on the cake. Um, do you have another crawler that you want to summon? No, you don't. Okay, Gozuki. Oh, there you go. that's even better. Um, but sadly, now we can't go into the Unizombie. I mean, we can't get a Goblin Zombie out, so that sucks. Um, hmm, this Book of Life is going to be real tasty. Uh, let me see. That destroys spells and traps. This adds from the graveyard. What does that do? You can target one face down monster you control, change it to face up attack. Uh, what? You can shuffle a monster from the graveyard and target one face down monster, change it to face down. What do you do? Destroy a monster? Um, oh, that's just. Wait, what? You can only use one effect to turn it only once that turn. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some uh we're gonna do some easy slim pickings right here. Uh what we're going to do is we're going to send a Gozuki. Um where is the Gozuki at? I'm gonna send Gozuki, then we're gonna Mizuki for Gozuki. And then you know you guys already see where this is going. I'm going Shogun Slag. I'm going to pop his face up. Um, and then we could uh, go from there. Um, what do I want to send now? I think Mizuki is a, the, the card I want to send. Uh, we can send Spirit Master. I mean, sh sh we can't send that. That's actually it's actually really what? His face up leads. No, see, yeah, but that, that's the problem. We, we would not know. That would be a dumb play. We're actually end up losing the game because of that. But we can just simply go into what's the name. You simply go into Shogun Saga. So like literally it would be in the graveyard for the Book of Life. Um, and we can uh, just, yeah, abuse it. Abuse and destroy our opponent. And so now what we now what the, what's going on here is that we have the uh, we have a kind of it's not really like a, a, a unlimited com not if, if infinite combo or a lock or anything. But Shogun Saga can banish this to pop. And then if Shogun, when Shogun Saga dies, it can return it to the graveyard. So then the next time she summon, you know, you see where I'm going with it? Like you can continuously do that. That's something we have not done. Um, we have never like, really pulled off that combo. Um, and I'm not going to strike it because literally there's no reason. There's no nothing to gain from it because then it will still, you know, trigger, which is fine. Like I said, that's going to pop. We're going to return the Spirit Master and then, you know, we can just keep recycling it. So now every time Shogun Saga, Shogun Saga is summoned, we can pop the Spirit Master and put it at 4,500. And then we can also just return it whenever it dies. So, <clears throat> seems pretty good. He's just drawing flips. How many, how, how much you guys want to bet that this man is literally, is going to continue to keep summoning the same exact card. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to get Shogun Saga and we're going to banish um, this guy. This is taking a real long time for absolutely no reason. And then once again, we're going to activate this. Then a Spirit Master. That's going to be that. And then we're going to normal summon this. Oh man. <clears throat> if Spectral Sword was in this deck, it would be very, very, uh, very, very fruitful indeed. And let's get this. Then we can do this. And yeah, we can send another Mizuki to the graveyard. And then we could, uh, yeah, now we can just start recycling Mizukis. And yeah, we can just, we, we're just basically going to take over from here because, like I said, there's, it's kind of like a pseudo lock with um, a Shogun Saga. It's kind of like a pseudo lock. We can now send, we can send Samurai. That's a pretty good card. So now let's go into a battle phase. And they all have real high defense, I believe. Or. Yeah, they kind of do have a lot of defense though. And then I think some of them actually have low attack. No, they all have relatively high defense. So attacking with 45, I feel, feel like this is the best thing to do. If he's holding evenly matched, he's a great individual. He's a great individual if he's holding evenly matched. Um, what do you, you pop spells and traps, right? Spell summon a crawler from your hand or graveyard. Wow, 
wow, that's that's just cute. Isn't that just so cute? What if, and then this is the one I decided to leave in the graveyard. Well, that's better than that. Oh, God. Man, this is taking a long time for absolutely no reason. Hold, let me check the time. We're in 10 minutes for no reason playing against Crawler because he doesn't want to hurry up and just, like, pick your effects, my guy. Like, come on, man. I'm not going to stop what you're doing. Uh, Stardust is actually really good. I'm kind of thinking about putting it back in the extra deck. Um, I, I don't know. I really do like it, man. Really do like it. There's a lot of stuff that pops, like Super Agent, Sleeper, etc., etc. And you know that can you know Stardust can just be real helpful at any point in time. So now let's go Omega. And right now, what we can do is basically sit on Omega. Omega's going to keep returning Mizukis, and um, we can eventually just go into a uh, what do you call it? Utopia. And just win the game from there. But you have to get into it because for some reason this man wants to take 400 years playing crawlers. And it's literally just click. It's like you don't even have that many options. Just <laughs> like you have the one in the grave that you're going to get back. Get it back and that's going to be it. Um, but for some reason he wants to take his lovely sweet time. So hopefully, you know. We can get through this before we get into the 20 minute range because uh, I don't know. I know you guys don't want to see a 20 minute video of me just playing crawlers and literally moving at a snail pace for absolutely no reason. But hopefully this man gets it through his head to just play the game. But it's not looking too likely. It really isn't because <clears throat> he's still taking his time. Ugh. This is so frustrating. Oh my god, man. Well, I'm going to pause it because I'm not going to keep running up the time. Alright, so <clears throat> he decided he wanted to activate Virgin Sanctuary, flip this to pop this, and then he uh, chained World Legacy World Armor, and then, yeah. Okay, so what I'm not, I'm not going to strike that, right? And you know why I'm not going to strike it, right? Uh, this is a machine, so he ain't going to be able to add. Um, and then if he uses the effect of one of Ghost Ogre, and since this doesn't save them, I'm pretty sure this shouldn't work. Yeah, that, it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much game. It, it can be can be played now, and he did have the maxi in his hand. So I'm going to pause it again because I know he's going to take... What's going on here? What's going on here? Wow, we're doing this today. Okay. No, never mind. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I am completely wrong. I am completely wrong. That was a dumb move on my part. Okay. Never mind. That was completely my fault. Yeah, he he could do that. Yeah. Um. Well, I'll be right back. Oh wait. No, here's my turn. Ooh, there's a burial. Okay. So let's return this. Um, and let's just use both Mizukis to go. All right, what did he add? Jesus, because this is just nope. It's not that. What is it? this one? All right, what do you do? Um. Okay, so what I can do is I can just um. Direwolf that, which I'm going to do right now. I don't have a what's the name? Huh? Oh wait, I don't even need to do that. <clears throat> going to use the what's the name we're going to strike it there's the max C we're going to strike it so then what I'm going to do is um spell summon this right and then we can use this to banish uh, solitaire solitaire is going to trigger spell summoning uh, spirit master we can go dire wolf to pop this and you know since we do have uh this one's return I believe it is, yeah. Yep, because we're all just once per turn for some random reason. But yeah, uh, we're going to get back the Spirit Master and uh, I'm just going to do the play I was talking about. Oh, shit, excuse me. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Dire Wolf. And um, yeah, just gonna pop itself, pop this. Probably gonna chain it to book this for no reason. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can just go for game here. We do have this, uh, do have this burial, so that's this is good. Um, let me see. What do you do? Target one face down monster, destroy it. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, it's this. Okay, yeah, I, I don't care. Pop it, and then when this is okay. Um, and then this says, okay, when it faced up insect. Okay, so we can use Mizuki to get back. Go Zuki. Special that. And then we can just burial because burial is the best card of all time. No reason not to. Then we can go with this to bring back. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I guess Spirit Master. Then we can go Utopia. And then we can go Lightning. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just did not need to go Lightning. We just needed to put enough damage on the board. And then we can bring back Spirit Master. Um, and let's put Ignore Chain. There's no reason to even... Why are y'all asking me, do I want to do anything? You know I don't want to do anything. So then we just get back to Unizombie. And so, yeah, there we go. We have uh, got the victory, even though for some reason this man decided he wants to take 400 years for no reason. 40 years for no reason. And you got you knew you was losing. You just knew you was losing. So it didn't really matter, man. Alright, Jesus Christ, why are you asking me these questions? Just wanna attack. Let's get it over. Alright, so stay tuned for the deck profile and we'll be right back. Come on. <laughs> Alright, be right back. Alright, so we are back. This is the deck profile from Brian Johnson. Uh, once again, shout outs to him. He sent it to me today. And if you guys want to see one of your decks get profiled and played, um, we just like I said, just send it in and, we, uh, and I can play it. And you know, I'm going to make a couple of changes, so don't take it as a fence. I just want to see how they work. So, what we're going to do is because since we are playing a level four deck, we definitely need to put in a number 41 because that's probably the best level one right now. Well, there's no number, number 41 or something. Or am I number oh, 41? There we go. We're going to add number 41. We're going to take out is Moonlight. Uh, we're going to put in the Baguska. And then we're also going to cut, I guess, Clear Wing. And then we're going to put in Tornado Dragon. And, um, okay, wait. So let's do this because we know. Oh, wait. Bam. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna just end the video. I'll be back because it's already long. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys like, uh, if you guys uh, would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click and add. So stay tuned. Be right back in a couple of hours. Yeah.